Hello and welcome to a new Scale 500 news video here on the channel. We have some breaking news coming directly from Harpa Wings because they have just released information regarding the 0506 release batch. So the models being released in the month May and June of 2024. So with no further ado, let's take a closer look and see what Harpa has in store for us this time. And in this batch, Harpa has really gone all out when it comes to retro aircraft, but there is also some modern day stuff but let's first look at the retro aircraft model starting off with a whole bunch of 727-200 aircraft. Herpa is of course continuing their anniversary series with this aircraft type and the first aircraft is the brand of international Boeing 727-200 in the solid red livery. Herpa has of course recently at the Nuremberg Toy Fair already presented quite a few sample models of the upcoming brand of aircraft models they are planning to release and here is one of them. Then we have the Jet Jugoslav Air Airlines Boeing 727 also in this batch. I think this could be a model that is fairly popular given that the Balkan Airlines General always are selling quite well. And then we have an Air France Boeing 727-200 to round up the anniversary series. But it's far from all the retro stuff we get in this release batch. SAPA has also included a Boeing 767-300 of KLM in this release batch. I mean, KLM is always a popular airline among collectors. I didn't really see this aircraft model coming, to be honest. But I mean, for those who want to have some retro KLM stuff. Well, here is a model for you. Then we have a string of re-releases from Hapawing, starting off with the Iberia A350-900, which I believe last was released in 2019. So now you have another chance if you didn't buy it back in the day. And then there is coming two A220-300s, one in the Swiss International Airlines livery, so that's also a re-release, and another re-release in the Air France livery. So again, for those who didn't manage to get the first releases here is another chance for you but now let's move on to some more modern day and definitely first release type stuff from Harper Wings in this batch as we get a 737-800 in the special salmon people livery of Alaska Airlines this is an aircraft model that I have actually already reviewed in scale 400 now we also get it in scale 500 from Harper Wings then a model that I definitely did not see coming is the Air Canada Jets Airbus A320 this is a subsidiary of Air Canada and they are specializing on business and sports related charter flights they have about four aircraft in their fleet as far as i know and while it might not fit everyone's collection it for sure is something completely new that we haven't seen in scale 500 or from harper wings for that matter so i guess it's a good thing and also for the next model we are staying in north america as harper is finally releasing a scale 500 model of the hawaiian airlines boeing 787-9 i think apart from having a really wonderful for livery. Hawaiian Airlines is of course always a nice airline to be featured in Scale 500. Again a model that might not fit everyone's collection but for those where it does it's for sure a nice addition. And with the next model we kind of have a North American European hybrid as it is the 747-8F of Atlas Air but with the Kühne and Nagel sticker. This is of course a very special aircraft given that this is the last 747 ever to be built and it's really really cool that Hapa has managed to get the license not just for the Atlas Air part but also the Kuna Nagel and to make this aircraft model in scale 500 a wonderful addition I'm sure for many people's collection. The only part I really do not agree with here is simply the absolutely ridiculous official retail price from Harper Wings but I guess that's a topic that matches all models in this release batch. And then we have two more European releases here in this batch. The first one is kind of a re-release. It is the revised version of the Orange Pride from KLM, the Boeing 777-300ER. I'm not sure if this is a model I will get. I mean the price is quite hefty and I already have the older version. Of course now it is revised slightly. They have kind of added the Dutch flag into the transition from the orange to the uh, KLM blue. But honestly speaking, I'm, I mean, just with that price, I'm not sure if this is really a model I want to spend my money on. And then the final model in this release batch, at least when it comes to scale 500 models, is the A320 of Edelweiss with a Help Alliance special livery. This is a very cool looking aircraft in real life. I'm looking forward to seeing how Hapa has managed with that when they released the model, but I'm, I'm very tempted to get this, to be honest. 
Now, sometimes it's also worth looking at scale 200 releases from Hyper Wings because it can be an indication as to what is to come in scale 500. Now, in scale 200 this time, they have the A33900 Neo of Virgin Atlantic confirmed in scale 200 coming in this batch. But of course, we already know that this is also coming in scale 500 as we have seen the sample model. Apart from that, there is an A380 of Lufthansa, but also again, a model we have seen plenty of in scale 500. So unfortunately, this time scale 200 doesn't really seem to give us that much information about what is to come in scale 500. But what we do know is that Hapa's official retail prices continue to be detached from reality. And if you are as tired as me of looking at these ridiculous prices, well, then why not do like me and get your models from a trusted retailer like the FMB shop. Apart from day one discounts, they do once again also have a pre-order discount. And if you use the code Hapa10, you get a 10% pre-order discount so don't hesitate and do check them out you can find a link to them in the video description below all right so those are the models that Harper Wings intends to be releasing in the months May and to June of this year personally I think it is a disgrace that Harper once again is increasing prices I mean it's not completely unforeseen but I mean we are not getting anything in return for these price increases and they're just they're, they're killing the hobby pure and simple what are your thoughts on this release batch let me know all you have to say in the comment section below. Now, if you like this type of content, then be sure to leave a like. And if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for watching this video and see you in another one. I'm checking out and bye.